Hey guys, welcome to this Hall of Fame exclusive. I am so honored to be joined by Mr. Dan Pompey. Dan, how are you doing, sir? I'm great. I'm uh, exhilarated after a long and very fruitful meeting, and it was great to be a part of it. That's right, Dan. So tell us about it. You are one of 48 members of the Pro Football Hall of, Fame, Hall of Fame Selection Board and one of nine members of the Senior Committee. If you could just break that down, you know, before we dive in and talk about your long, extensive day, what does that mean to you? Well, what it means is uh, I'm, I'm one of the members who vote on the Hall of Famers, uh, usually in February, uh, on our um, final tabulation. Also, get the class down to the finalists so we have a class to vote from. And then uh, on a senior day, which was today, and also the coaching day, we come up with the, the group that, that we will nominate as finalists for the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Well, let's dive into it, Dan. How difficult were the decisions made today? Well, I think they were excruciating decisions, really, because there are so many qualified candidates, both in the coaching pool and in the senior pool. And uh, we went over 16 senior candidates today and uh, seven coaching candidates. And you can make a strong case for every one of them to be Hall of Famers. And the hardest part is always leaving people out and deciding, you know, who is more worthy than the other when almost all of them are very worthy. When you look at the debating process, how long was it, you know, you're debating for uh, the seniors, the coaches, and just the whole entire process? How long was that debate going on today out of those 16 that you said you were talking about? Well, the discussion uh, took uh, most of the day. You know, we started at 9.30 this morning and uh, finished up with everything at about 3.30. And, and uh you know, we talked about each one of the candidates in depth. We had two great consultants who were helping us in Joe Horrigan, former Pro Football Hall of Fame historian, and also Drew Pearson, the Hall of Fame wide receiver, just voted in uh, in the centennial class. And, uh, you know, they helped us provide uh, context and give their opinions on the various candidates. And then we discussed them among ourselves. There were five of us in the room today. Uh, I should I should say who were in the in the meeting because it was virtual, uh, but five of us who had votes. You know, you spoke about this earlier in your comments that everyone's worthy of being a Hall of Famer, but why are you finding it harder year after year to narrow this process down? Well, I think, um, you know, the more you know about the candidates, and the more you understand about the history of the NFL, uh, the di more difficult it becomes to leave some of these candidates out. And, uh, you know, it's also uh, uh, never easy to see some of these players or, or candidates, coaches getting older, passing on. And, and then, you know, you wonder, will they ever get their just uh, uh, due in their lifetime? So, um, you know, those are things you think about, but ultimately you have to be committed to putting the best people in the Hall of Fame. 